people are asking to get out, and there's no way for us to get what we need. Many questions and concerns were raised early Saturday morning at a heated meeting to discuss a PCB problem in Minden. You realize how bad it is with the new uh, results that they're going in after in the different places. I'm hoping, you know, nobody wants to find it in their yard or anything, but I'm hoping that they do a complete cleanup. The EPA and officials from the West Virginia Bureau for Public Health, Federal Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry came to the meeting to discuss the PCB test results and answer health-related questions. Each balloon behind me represents residents who are fighting with cancer or have passed from cancer within the last four years. I lost my mother and I've lost a lot of my neighbors. I actually sat down Friday and just on one side of the creek bank there were 35 people um, that were diagnosed with cancer and only four of those people are still alive. As health issues were a main concern, officials discussed solutions for the problem and next steps. We sample in those areas to try to delineate um, where the contamination may be, um, if it's a larger area, if there's another source that's contributing to it and identify future actions as needed after that. EPA is in the process of scheduling more sampling and also having dialogue with property owners to find a solution for this problem. In Glen Jean, I'm Daniela Hankey reporting for Newswatch.